guys, thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt. I'm currently in Rome, Italy, and I'm gonna take you on a tour around the city to explore its most haunted locations. If you haven't done so already, make sure to hit subscribe because I have some other spooky locations in Italy coming soon. But for now, let's head off to our first destination. Just behind me is the Roman Colosseum. And did you guys know that this is one of the most haunted places in Rome? The Colosseum is one of the most visited and recognizable landmarks in the world. And that is for its very interesting and a little bit dark history. So this was the site where gladiator battles would take place and hunting of exotic animals and there was a lot of death here. Thousands of people died and even thousands of animals died here. So it's really not surprising to know that this is one of the most haunted places in Rome. Some of its ghost stories and the paranormal activity said to occur here is suddenly forming cold spots sightings of apparitions, namely of a Roman guard who continues to guard the building. There's also a lot of disembodied voices um, that have been reported here. People have heard cr uh, crowds screaming and cheering. They've heard people in severe pain wailing and crying. And there's also been some reports of animal voices as well, so roars and cries from them. I'm now in front of the Roman Forum, which is the ruins of the old city center of Rome and it dates back thousands of years. Julius Caesar is actually buried here and there are whispers and rumors that his ghost continues to haunt the area around his grave. All right, so this just here is actually signifying the grave of Caesar. is such an amazing place it is definitely one of my favorite cities in the world and that is for its history which is very interesting and because of its age it's so old it's definitely had a lot of time to acquire many very cool ghost stories the cool thing about Rome is there are just ruins scattered everywhere all throughout the city and we've just found this one behind me and we don't even know what it is. It just looks really awesome. <laughs> now I am standing amongst the Porta Ottavia, also known as the Jewish Ghetto. And this area is said to be haunted by a woman who was of royal blood, though she was very scandalous and even outrageous. So much so to the point that she became exiled from Rome and had to leave. Though upon her death, she returned to haunt this area and there has been very common sightings of her apparition all throughout this area. Right here is the Piazza Navona, just a very beautiful place. It has some awesome fountains 
and it also has a very cheeky ghost. This ghost was actually the wife of an emperor who he had executed for her promiscuous sexual activity. And even in death, she continues her promiscuous ways, allegedly pinching the butts of handsome young men hanging around this area. Okay, so we have just arrived at our last destination. And although this is the smallest, it is also the creepiest. So I've saved this one till last. It is known as the Museum of Purgatory and it exists at the back of this church. And basically it contains a bunch of items that have been touched by dead people or the apparitions and have left behind burn marks. So we're about to see some handprints on articles such as clothing and Bibles. And it, looks, it is all very creepy. Looks like the devil. So that one was left behind by a fire, right, on a wall? Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you're after a bit more reading on these haunted places in Rome, head to amyscrypt.com. And remember guys, until next time, stay spooky.